open your eyes anywhere on earth and there is life whether it is a pigeon in the park or the invisible microorganisms coating every surface but when the planet was born 4.5 billion years ago it was sterile how did the first life emerge the short answer is we don't know if we did we could reproduce it scientist could put the right chemicals in a sealed container under the correct conditions and when they opened it they'd find living organisms nobody has ever done this but while we don't know exactly how life began we have a lot of clues let's start with the easiest bits what is life made of and where did those components come from living organisms contain thousands of chemicals like proteins and nucleic acids that carry out genetic information These chemicals are complex but we know that their constituent parts form quite readily the first evidence of this was published in 1953 by a young chemist named Stanley Miller he put water and three gas cells in glass apparatus mimicking the sea and your of the young earth miller heated the water and electrically shocked the air to stimulate lightning within days This set of produced an amino acid, a fragment of protein. Since then, scientists have performed many similar studies. In research published in September 2020, researchers led by Sarah Smock completed dozens of experiments. They created a map showing how chemicals can be transferred one into another, starting with just six everyday chemicals such as water and methane. They could make tens of thousands of substances found in living organisms the implication is that the young earth was a factory of biological chemicals but having lots of these chemicals doesn't necessarily yield life any more than a pile of bricks will automatically become a house this is where things get tricky because we must think about what makes something alive it boils down to three things first the organism has to keep itself together often with an outer layer the removal of which is immediately problematic second it must feed itself this involves chemical reactions but those chemical reactions are very complex and third life has to reproduce itself which means it must have genes it can pass on the last 50 years of origin of life research were dominated by attempts to make one of these systems on its own for instance a genetic molecule that reproduces by copying itself the other bits were assumed to come later personally i am dubious about this approach none of the three systems is alive by itself they need each other what's more if earth was doing such a good job of making all the chemicals of life it may be that all three systems formed simultaneously in the same place this would have happened more readily in a confined space such as a deep sea hydrothermal vent or a pool on land exactly how life originated is still unclear but what was once utterly mysterious now seems much less inexplicable so this was for today if you enjoyed the video please like the video and share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe factor sol and press the bell icon to see a facts videos the first thank you bye bye let's meet in another cool video